so speaking of stories, what is the most inspirational personal story that you have experienced on awareness? I would say this, and it comes from gratitude. I, I'm not going to say this is the most powerful, but I think this is impactful. There are seasons in life, and we all experience seasons of life. And sometimes when a season of friendship ends, when a season of like maybe your child going off to college, when or you lose a job or you quit a job or you, you, you start a business, there's seasons. So what happens sometimes when I, I'll use relationships in this example, when a relationship ends, are you bitter about it? Are you angry about it? You know, in the moment, or do you sit back and reflect and say, I'm grateful for the time I had with that person? And there was a moment for me that this occurred. It was just a, a friendship of mine that we were buddies and for a long, long time. And some, you know, we did a business deal together and it didn't work out. And then we, we went astray. And, um, you know, I think I can only speak for me. There might have been resentment. There might have been bitterness. There might have been hurt. And because I was hurt by the season ending, I was bitter that I was not ever going to have that relationship again. And then when I had this moment of thinking, you know what? Why be bitter about it? Why be angry about it? Be grateful for the time I had with that person in my life. Then you understand it. all seasons end. They do. And they change. And you, you go into other relationships and other experiences and other friendships. And being grateful is, I think, the foundation for all of that. That is so true. Yeah, gratitude. It can change everything. And can I share one more with you? I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there because I, I just something else just hit me. I, I had a conversation with this guy years ago. He said to me, he said, Robbie goes, you will go to the next level in your life and in your business when you start listening and trusting that voice inside of you. And I'll never forget those words. And what happened one time, I was asked to speak to a group of prisoners in, in the prison in Maryland. I said, yes, I'll do it. And after I said yes, I'm like, oh, my God, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to give these guys a message of hope, not just any old speech. And the, the voice inside of me was saying jailbreak is the title of your speech. And I'm like, I'm like, this is great. I'm fired up. I'm like, there couldn't be a better title for a speech in jail. Right. <laughs> and, and, and then I started saying. I can't do that. I started fighting that great idea, right? I started fighting and saying, who am I to think I can do that? The guards are going to cock their uh, rifles and it's going to be uh, you know, mayhem inside of prison if I use that as a title of the speech. And then I thought about what that guy said to me. He said, you go to that next level in your life and your business and you start trusting that voice inside of you. And so in that moment, when I had that thought, jailbreak is going to be the title of my speech. I could go on for five or 10 minutes on a story here, but I went into prison, I did this speech and I titled it jailbreak. And it was an unbelievable experience with 20 guys in a room in a prison in Maryland that occurred maybe, I'm going to guess, 12, 12, 13, 14 years ago. And if I wouldn't have listened to that voice, it wouldn't have had the impact that it had. Yeah. 